All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the second day of our Innovation Spotlight. Uh, today we have our first speaker is Cam Collins, the president of DocMaster, and he'll be talking about power partnerships and connected business management systems. Welcome, Cam. Jeremy, thank you very much. Uh, like I, uh, Jeremy mentioned, I'm Cam Collins, and I'm with uh, DocMaster Software. Um, one of the things that uh, we have to offer today are chairs. So I see a whole bunch of people uh, back there standing up and eating their breakfast. Um, we can offer up some chairs. It's going to be a quick 15 minute presentation today. We'd love to have you kind of sit through it and listen a little bit about what it is that, uh, that we're doing at DocMaster. Um, we're very, very happy to be here um, in support of the Marine Dealer Conference and the MRAA. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is actually what we call the power through partnerships. Um, DocMaster has been a business since 1984, and one of the things that we have prided ourselves on over the years is to actually develop very, very strong partnerships, not just with our customers, but also with other software vendors and technology vendors throughout the industry. So I thought maybe I'd just spend a little bit of time talking about sort of where we've come from as a company, and then uh, talk about how we're actually empowering um, our dealers through partnerships. So DocMaster is a company that um, uh, is a leading marina and marine management system. Uh, it is all we do is marine industry related software. We're not in the RV space, we're not in the motorcycle business, we're in the marine dealership and marina software business. Um, close to 4,000 users across six locations. We have um, seven, seven countries uh, to date that actually are utilizing uh, the DocMaster application. And we're um, a fully functional system across both the marina man the management side of the business. So for those companies that actually have marinas as part of their dealerships, it's a very, very strong part of our technology, as well as service and parts, point of sale, and of course, uh, a sales function. So in terms of the timeline of DocMaster, the way that we got involved with working more and more with third-party companies uh, kind of evolves through our relationship as we've evolved as an organization ourselves. Like I mentioned before, Doc Manager was actually founded back in 1984 specifically for the marine industry. And then I had actually bought the company at the end of 2002. Um, and we had rebranded the Doc Master uh, logo and, and brought out a new Windows version of our product. One of the things we did right at kind of the tail end of uh, my tenure uh, as an owner of the company is we actually brought out the industry's very, very first open API. And I'll talk a little bit about what an API means and why that actually would be important to, uh, to a marine dealer. Um, in uh, in uh, October of 2013, I had sold the company to a firm called MyTasket. And this actually was a partnership that actually turned into ownership of the company. And it really allowed us to test out this partnership model. And we proved out a lot of things to ourselves in terms of how actually powerful partnerships can be um, as you're bringing technology to the marketplace. And then in May of 2017, my task was bought by a company called Valsoft out of Montreal, Canada. And Valsoft is focused on building vertical market software companies. And DocMaster is the flagship business in Valsoft's marina and marine management software um, niche. And our plan is to continue to grow that product line, to acquire other software companies that are in the marina and marine management niche, so we can actually grow to be a world leader in that area. But I want to focus specifically on that point there about um, the open API integration, because that's what this talk's all about. So what is an API? API actually stands for Application Programming Interface. And in kind of layman's terms, what that means is you can take a product like DocMaster, the core of the product, and uh, we've enabled third-party companies to connect to us through this open API. So we publish a set of standards that allows other companies to actually plug into DocMaster, so to speak. Almost like you're plugging a toaster into the electrical grid system. So for instance, dealer websites. If you are running a dealer website on ARI or um, uh, the Boats Group uh, collection of sites and or Dealer Spike, like an appliance, you can plug that directly into DocMaster and the DocMaster inventory feed will go directly up into those websites through those applications. We've done a very, very similar thing with service applications, our primary one and our only one being MyTasket. So MyTasket actually offers a task coordination and management application, a web-based app, that plugs directly into the DocMaster API through this concept. 
Uh, we've done the same thing with uh, customers' portal. So you can have a website that you that you stand up that you actually allow your customers to log into to see things like their open balance um, or to even pay their bill online. Um, we have a connection into CRM, Customer Relationship Management, and one of the partnerships I'm going to talk about is our integration with Salesforce.com. Um, boat rentals. So we have an integration with a product that actually offers an online boat rental application. So if you want to actually offer boats for rent online, you can plug into Stellar IMS and actually rent boats online. Um, and last but not least, payment processing. So we, we support a number of different payment processors also through this API concept. Uh, we even have customers that are selling parts online by way of e-commerce. So Parks Marina and uh, Merit Supply are two good examples. So what I thought I'd do today is kind of walk you guys through a couple of examples of some partnerships that we've done and uh, talk about some of the benefits therein. So what are the benefits of an API? Why even do this? Why buy a management system that has an open API? Why not buy a system that they do every single thing under the sun under that one particular brand? Well, there's some real, real key points here. Number one, an open system allows dealers to decide what tools to use in their business. You can select best-in-class tools to plug into your dealer management framework. Number two, you can get access to mission-critical data from multiple devices and applications. So if you have web apps or mobile apps uh, or other desktop applications that you want to plug into your DMS framework, you can do that uh, if your DMS has an open API. One of the biggest points that I hear about over and over again is the reduction or elimination of double entry. And how many people in here run two or three systems and you enter something in one system, then you plug it into something else, and then you, now you get a third system you have to enter it into, and how much time does that waste in your dealership? So one of the goals of, and I'll admit it's a lofty goal, of an API is to reduce or eliminate double entry. And last but not least, we want to reduce data entry errors. So you've got a good example is a, is a paper timesheet that gets turned into a service manager who's now entering in the time into a computer. Did they read the time right? Did you read the comments right? Did you get the timing right? And uh, so that data entry, trying to read someone's handwriting, is another area that could be problematic. So API helps to eliminate these things. So one of the very first partnerships I'm going to talk about is an integration with Salesforce through a company called Team Marine. And we call this empowering your sales team. So one of the beauties of the Salesforce application is that Salesforce is a framework that is available on both, in both a web framework as well as a mobile app, okay? And it's used across a number of vertical industries all across the world, um, and it is the number one uh, CRM system available. So this is sort of a little running animation of actually what's called Salesforce One uh, running on a, mobile, on a mobile phone. So what does it do? So if you're using DocMaster as your dealer management system, what we do is we actually connect to Salesforce and we allow your sales reps to actually use Salesforce as their connectivity to back into your DMS. So I can review, I, I can manage leads from a mobile phone. I can enter new leads from my mobile phone right into Salesforce. Those leads flow back into DocMaster by way of the API, okay? Secondly, if I modify a prospect or if I modify a customer in Salesforce or DocMaster, it connects back to Salesforce. So it's a bi-directional integration with the Salesforce application. The second, I'm sorry, the third and most important piece is when I can actually work a deal in Salesforce. I can quote at a Salesforce, I can create window stickers, I can create contracts at a Salesforce, and when I initiate a contract and I change the stage to in contract in the Salesforce app, it literally will create a contract on the DocMaster side. And when I'm turning that prospect into a customer, it'll even create a customer on the DocMaster side if one doesn't already exist already. And now you've got a contract in DocMaster that you can then close and create rigging work orders off of that, and it all flows into accounting. So the main point of all this is to eliminate double entry and to empower your sales team so they now have mobile and or web access to their leads and to your inventory, okay? So this is a little uh, screenshot here showing how the two connect. So this is a, um, this is a DocMaster piece of inventory. That inventory feeds directly into Salesforce, so your inventory is now available uh, on the website, on the salesforce.com website for your, for your sales managers and for your sales reps to actually view and uh, observe and be able to sell right out of that application. So again, so the inventory feeds directly into Salesforce. 
and coming back the other way, when you turn that deal into end contract, that deal in Salesforce then gets pushed over to uh, DocMaster, so you can actually finalize and close the deal in DocMaster from your business office, okay? So, so that's how we help empower sales teams. Now, in terms of empowering your service team, uh, our richest and most uh, fully integrated application partner is actually with MyTasket. Um, like I mentioned before in our history, we were, we were owned by MyTasket at one point, so we really, really got to prove out this model in terms of how to integrate with third-party companies. The MyTasket application is a task coordination app that allows your service team to access uh, any job or task through a mobile device or any web-based device. So you're seeing MyTasket here in both an iPad, Surface tablet, um, an iPhone, Android device. And what we do is that we actually synchronize the customers and boats in DocMaster with the customers and boats in MyTasket. So they're completely synchronized together. The whole benefit being that you, you can now deploy your work orders and assign tasks to technicians who again are holding a mobile device to actually track all the jobs they're working on and to, um, to clock on and off jobs or tasks right from their mobile device. So any changes made in DocMaster get synced with MyTasket and vice versa along with the customers and boats. We also do that exact same thing for your service managers and your technicians. So as I add a service manager or a technician to DocMaster, those same users get replicated on the MyTasket side for tracking all your techs. The whole purpose of doing that is so that we can actually, through the MyTasket application, assign tasks to my technicians through a web uh, interface but they're all being done on a DocMaster work order. So estimates and work orders get created and modified in my tasket. They get synced back to DocMaster. Um, same thing goes the other way. If I'm creating an estimate or a work order actually in DocMaster, it gets synced into my tasket. So let me show you a nice little graphic of that. On the left-hand side of the screen here, you're actually seeing a DocMaster work order. When I create that work order in DocMaster, and it auto syncs back with my tasket. I now can go into the my tasket app and I can see all of my tasks and or work orders in a grid view. It's called the task grid. And from that uh, grid view, you're seeing the my tasket application on an iPad over here. It's an iPad mini. I can actually assign technicians right from this view in the my tasket application. All right. Now on the tech side, when the tech actually gets assigned a task, they actually receive a notification, either a text message or an email saying, I've just been assigned some new tasks. So from their mobile device now, they can actually look at the tasks they've been assigned. They can actually add uh, comments right here in, into their mobile app. You can actually click the little button or tap the little button with the microphone that you find on both uh, uh, Apple devices and Android devices, and you can speak those comments. I mean, how many times have uh, you tried to, to read your text writing and you've taken a, um, you know, the, the, the timesheet, you try the read writing, you're like, I don't know what he said or what he did. I gotta go talk to him to enter those comments in the doc master correctly. Well, this way they can actually speak the comments directly into the application, and there's also a timer that allows your text to actually click start and then hit stop, and you can now track the actual time on every single task running through running through the My Tasket application. That data then feeds back into DocMaster. So there's no no duplication of entry. The time entries and all that labor, all those labor comments go right back into a DocMaster work order, avoiding double entry and avoiding potential errors when you're trying to enter in data from a time from a, a written timesheet. So um, this is how we actually empower the service team. Oops, going the wrong way. Excuse me. Um, uh, utilizing a product like uh, my task. My, my third example here. How many people? Does anybody have an e-commerce store? Does anybody sell parts online? So there's some real power in being able to do that because those of you, especially who have destination marinas, when they go back home, wherever they're going, it'd be great to be able to continue to have a connection with them and sell them goods and services, right? We have a couple of dealers as well as a very large supplier in South Florida that have literally connected DocMaster back into their e-commerce store. Merrick Marine Supply is kind of the company that sort of started this whole, this whole partnership initiative at DocMaster initially because back in 2010, they came to us and they said, we love your parts system. We have your order entry product. We want to make all these things available online. So we did that through our API. A third party company actually built out their e-commerce store. And literally what it does is that when someone goes in there, let's say you look up the um, um, uh, 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 can of 5200 marine adhesive. What it does is it goes into Doc Master, it grabs that SKU, 
It grabs the quantity of that particular item, so it knows how many I've got, and it grabs the price. And it allows that, um, that customer to actually purchase that product online. That order goes back into Dockmaster, so, the, so the, the pick ticket can be created and the order can be fulfilled on the back end. It will not allow you to sell into the negative because it knows exactly what the inventory is at all times through the inventory is real time in Dockmaster. So those are sort of three examples of ways that we've connected third-party applications into Dockmaster uh, to help our dealers and clients get more value out of their out of their dealer management system. So uh, what I thought I'd do is just so, sort of show you the, the number of partnerships that we have to date at Dockmaster, um, 16 in total. Uh, we are actually at booth um, 828, and as you can see, we have connections with marina management uh, applications, parts, fuel, and point of sale applications, sales management applications, and um, last but certainly not least, service management through my task. So um, I don't know how I'm doing on time, Jeremy, but uh, I think I nailed it, right? So uh, is there any questions? I may have maybe a minute before I need to uh, relinquish the stage to uh, the next uh, individual. Anyone? Okay, I'm in, uh, we're at booth 828. My task is in booth 826. Uh, please come by and see us. Thank you very much.